equipment is a donation from one of the leading providers of this technology in the Caribbean, Forensic Psychological Services. How does it work? Simply put, there is a focus on the eye during examination of individuals. It measures biocognitive responses such as changes in pupil diameter, eye movement, eye blinks, and fixations. It's said to have an 86% accuracy in determining if someone is lying. The ONDCP already uses other methods of lie detecting, such as polygraphing and urinalysis. The eye detect will complement these measures. It will be one of the tools used in the vetting of new applicants and also for existing staff. We have a policy and a screening, a continuous screening policy. So members of the organization are usually required to be rescreened um, approximately every year to 18 months. And so this will assist in that particular process to ensure that, that we maintain the standards of integrity. And that is just one component of a list of tools that we would use in our complete vetting process. So it will be used for staff of the ONDCP, but according to Director Lieutenant Colonel Edward Croft, the benefits will transcend the corridors of the agency. He insists rigorous vetting of operatives inspires greater public confidence. It should assist in also bringing in the type of intelligence that would be needed because there's a level of trust with the public to law enforcement and they can be assured that information that is provided is treated with a certain level of um, confidentiality, and those standards assist in creating the type of breakthrough that is needed when one is conducting an investigation. The donation came from Roger Branch of Forensic Psychological Services two weeks ago. Colonel Croft says it contributes to putting the ONDCP at the cutting edge of vetting. Of course, we feel that ONDCP is one of the leading law enforcement entities regionally, and so um, we have to be at the cutting edge, and of course, we are one of the first in the region to obtain this. And um, we're happy and thankful, and we will intend to forge ahead with making certain that the results from this are utilized in the national interests of Antigua and Barbuda, and by extension, regionally. Garfield Burford, ABS News.